it's time to crown a national champion in the women's 100 meters and there is the overwhelming favorite as all women in the nike women's 100 meter final are on the line you're looking at shakari richardson 1071 in the heat 1071 in her semi-final nobody's really close so we feel like this is going to be a rob for her the question is what's the time all right let's show you everybody else who will line up alongside Shakari starting in lane eight. Can you imagine being 17 and being in a national championship? That is the story for Mia Brahe Pedersen. And she is very comfortable on this track. She's an Oregon native. When she ran 11.09 in the semifinal to get here, that's not even the fastest time she's run on this track. She's run 11 flat here. We could be looking at a high school record if she gets it right in this final. Can Melissa Jefferson defend her national title? She won last year, which put her on the team for Worlds. She got a gold medal with Team USA in the 4x1 on this track last season at World Championships. Lane 6, California's Brittany Brown. I have been impressed with how well she has been running. She equaled her personal best in the heat, was second in her semifinal, the 2019 U.S. Indoor Champion at 300. In lane five, Tamara Clark. I think she's making the team, Lee. Her personal best last year, 1088, but she was second in her semifinal in a season's best, 1098. The spotlight is shining definitely and firmly on Shakari Richardson. It's a global sport, things change quickly. She lost her world lead just in the last hour when World Championship silver medalist Sharika Jackson of Jamaica won the Jamaican trials in Kingston with 10.65. Good. Oh, wow. Well, look out. She means business. A quick change at the end on her inside in lane three is the 20-year-old Tamari Davis, who ran very well in the semifinal. I have been saying all year I thought she was going to make the team. Nothing that she ran in the semifinals gives me any reason to change that. Her personal best is 10.83. She has not lost a final this year at 100. To the left of Tamari is Twanisha T.T. Terry. She made the team last year that went to the World Championships in the 100, getting as far as the semifinal. She trains with Shakari Richardson under Dennis Mitchell. And lane one is the 21-year-old Jaisha she Sears. At Tennessee, she just finished her season there. Third in the 100 at NCAAs and fourth in the 200. You see all of that that Shakari Richardson just did? I just feel like she is coming out here to make a statement and to tell everybody that she's gonna be the person to beat at Worlds. So she's run two 10-7s. Does she have a 10-6 in her? We're about to find out. Shakari is a headline maker. She's got millions of followers on social media. She has some very strong viewpoints, but she's yet to make a global team and a global championships. This could be her moment. This should be her moment. Women's 100 final, it was not a good start but for Shakari Richardson. But Tamari Davis on her inside is making her work for it. Now here comes Shakari Richardson. Richardson is a national champion. 10.84. The world championships are waiting for Shakari. So after two tries of trying to make a world championship team, Shakari Richardson has booked her spot in the world championship rounds in Budapest in just under 50 days. But her start betrayed her immensely. After two really good starts in the heats and the semifinal, it's almost like she went back to the old Shakari and she did not respond well to the gun. She's fourth from the top of your screen. It was Tamari Davis that got away from her. But she didn't panic, she got to the front, and then it was just a matter of making the pose for the cameras. So you see Tamari Davis with the headband, 
she would eventually finish third. And Brittany Brown, who I told you, Lee, was looking better than she ever has, books her spot as well. So that's your U.S. team to the World Championships. Richardson, Brown, and Tamari Davis, all three of them on their very first 100-meter team for the United States. Uh, look at how much that meant to Shakari Richardson. The expression said it all. I've done it. I've got it. I'm on my way to Budapest. Confirmation of the results here at the Toyota USA TF Outdoor Nationals. Shakari Richardson, Brittany Brown, Tamari Davis, and then Tamara Clark and Melissa Jefferson. And I have, I have to say, I'm happy for Tamari Davis because last year at U.S. Nationals, she was passed in the final five meters and finished in fourth. This time she gets it done. And this scene with Shakari reminds us of, reminds us of the 2021 yes. Olympic trials. Yes, it does. When she won the race and then went immediately into the stands to find her people. Well, also on the team heading to Budapest, her new teammates standing by with Lewis Johnson. Brittany. You ran a personal best in the semifinals, up in the heats. How did that seem to set you up for what we saw tonight here in this final? It felt good. Um, <laughs> 1096 is equal my PB, and then I ran 1090 to PR again. So just building, keep building. I made a team in the 200. I can make a team in the 100. So it just feels good that I can do it. <laughs> you did it. And Tamara, you had such a disappointment last year. How did you remember that and recover from it today? Yeah, I've been working on my ending. I'm still working on it. And I'm just happy to, to get third. I got fourth last year, so working my way up. A perfect night for you, ladies. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, congratulations. We'll see if we can catch up with you, Carrie Lee. She's still celebrating, Lewis. She's still celebrating. And she's gone beneath the stadium. So Shakari Richardson, Tamari Davis, and Brittany Brown, the three women off to Budapest. But the national champion is Shakari Richardson. Well, when you've just won the Toyota USATF national championship in the women's 100, you take some catching like Shakari Richardson. But during the break, Lewis Johnson did finally catch up with her. Here it is. Well, Shakari, it was a moment that many won't forget. You threw the wig off and then you threw down on the track. What did it mean to cross the line, be a national champion, and now you're going to your first global outdoor championship? Well, I've been a champion, that's for one. But the thing I remember the most is the last time I think I stood here on this stadium yeah. with you and I did an interview <laughs> when I knew I wasn't ready to do one. Mm. But now I stand here with you again and I'm ready mentally physically and emotionally yeah. and I'm here to stay I'm not back I'm better there you have it